So today I'm gonna to show you a really cool entrance text effect. Now it really does make a user look at what you're trying to say when doing these sort of effects. And it really does make the whole page just look a whole lot better. So now as I scroll down on this web page, you can see how this text actually gets your attention as it appears. And if I scroll up, you can see how it disappears again. So this animation definitely recycles as you're scrolling up and down on the page. It's a really cool thing to put into your web page and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to implement this. So here in the Elementor page builder, I wanna make sure that I have the navigator open. It's just a personal preference for me. You don't have to follow along exactly how I'm doing it, but there is gonna be a piece of code that you're gonna to have to paste into an HTML widget. Now in the description of this video, there's going to be a link that's gonna take you to the reference page in my website. So over there, you'll always find everything you need to follow along with these tutorials. So over here is that reference page, if I scroll down, Here's the code that we are going to be using to actually make that text effect. So over here in Elemental, all I'm gonna do is just flesh out this page, and then you'll see the text effect happening really nicely. So over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start off with my main container. For this container, I'm just gonna put a background to it. So for the content width, I'm gonna make full width. I'm gonna make sure it's full width. And then in advanced, I'm gonna say the padding is zero. And then I'm just gonna put a background picture. So under style, I choose this color, select a picture, which is going to be this one right over here. Say select, say position, center, center. Attachment can be fixed, repeat, no repeat, size, cover. Okay, so now that I selected my picture, the last thing I'm gonna do over here is this say the VH is 100. And then I'm gonna add in my three containers inside. The reason for the three containers is not because of the effect, it's just to actually add space to this page over here so that the text has a chance to actually present itself onto the screen as you're scrolling down. So I'm gonna click on this plus sign, go to containers, and I'm gonna add my three containers. So then just say duplicate and duplicate. So the last one, I'm gonna go to the settings over here. I don't have to do anything fancy. What I'm gonna do is just change the VH to 100. And then the top one as well of the three, I'm gonna change to a VH of 100. Now that I have that out the way, this middle container is where I'm gonna be putting the text. So over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the plus sign. I'm gonna go for the heading. I'm gonna take that across, put it into this middle container, and then I'm gonna change the text to white so it can stand out a bit. And then for the content, I'm just gonna put something Warhammer related. I'm really into the Warhammer thing right now. Okay, there we go. Now, I do wanna darken this background just to make the text stand out a bit more. So I'm gonna go to this main container, in the style, then I'm gonna go into background overlay. I'm gonna choose black and then just drop the opacity just a bit so that this text can stand out. Okay, now we're pretty much almost there. So last thing that we're gonna do is gonna add the HTML widget and then we're just gonna copy that code. So we click on this plus sign. I'm gonna go for the HTML widget. I'm gonna go down to the bottom of this page and then just drag this across and then let go. Now here on that reference page that I mentioned earlier, on the top of this window over here for the code, I'm just gonna go to the right hand side and say copy. And then inside this HTML widget, I am going to paste. So let me just explain some things over here. The trigger that this is looking for is for the H1 tag. So this will affect all H1s on this page. If you don't want that, then all you have to do is you go to your heading and advanced and under CSS classes, just give it a class name for the one that you want to affect. So let me just show that over here quickly. I'm gonna duplicate this heading, but I'm gonna make sure that they are both H1. Then I'm gonna say duplicate. And then on the first one, I'm gonna to go to advanced. And I'm gonna say something like only this. I'm gonna copy that, go to the HTML. And then as I scroll down near the middle here, you can see split text into spans and it says H1. So whatever there, I just press dot, paste that CSS class name and give a space. You do have to keep that H tag in there because it's looking for all the characters inside the H1 tag. So once I have that in place, then I just do that one more time right over here, dot the class name and space. And that is it, right? So now if I click publish and I go check this in the front end, as I scroll, you can see that only that particular one is being affected. It is a very cool effect that's going on over here. But if you want to actually customize it a bit more, let me go and show you it in the code where you can do that. So near this bottom section of the script, the starting position is minus 100 from where the letter was. And then the blur, we're gonna to set to eight. So if you want to have less blur, more blur, it's totally up to you. And then the opacity is zero. So this is the entrance animation of how the letters are set up. 
Then coming out, you can see that the X is back into the original position. The blow is back down to zero. The opacity is complete full opacity. The duration is 1.5. The ease is power four. And these are all things that you can change. Now the stagger, if you want to have less blur going on, if this is too much blur and you only want like three or four letters, that is where you'd go and change it. So over here, you drop it down to set a 0.1. There'll only be one or two letters. Then you can also adjust where you want this thing to start. So 80% down the page, and then it must end at 50% down the page. So these are all different types of settings that you can change if you're not 100% happy on how it actually looks like. These are the ones that you'd go and change for that. And there we go, it was very easy to do. It's a great effect. You should play around with it and perfect it for your type of heading. The smaller the writing, the less you're gonna need to have the stagger. The bigger the writing, you're gonna have to increase the stagger. Something that you must look out for is on like a sentence like this. This is pretty long. Now, if this starts getting bigger, what that code does is that it actually puts every single letter into a span. You do have to be careful of that. So you must just make sure that whatever words might break on a particular screen size, just cater around that because the way the HTML is going to be shown, it might split a word. So you must just cater for that. Maybe put that text in the new line physically on certain screen sizes. But that's really the only thing that you have to watch out for. So I hope you liked this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.